Mexico City. This is the first of three houses that we're gonna install today. Oh, we're really excited. This is day one of our revolution. Isla Urbana, a small local NGO, is setting out on phase one of its water revolution. This is much more of like a mega city problem, you know, like a giant city, and it's just simply like running out of water because it's overexploiting it. In this city, one of the largest in the world, water is an overriding concern. But Isla Urbana, with a practical and cheap solution, is confident it has an answer to the water supply problem. Hopefully by 2010, we'll start the Ignite the Rainwater Harvesting Revolution, baby. Woo! <laughs> The biggest metropolis in the Western Hemisphere is running out of water. Cutoffs in water supply are a common occurrence for its residents. Mexico City's 22 million people live over 2,000 meters above sea level on a high plateau surrounded by mountains. Paradoxically, this city was once a great lake, where the Aztecs founded their island citadel, Tenochtitlan, seven centuries ago. Through over-exploitation of groundwater, the city has sunk nine meters. Today, it has to find most of its water elsewhere. When you look at where the city provides its water, it's in two sources. The first source comes from, actually very interesting, the other side of this mountain that's over a kilometer high and over 200 kilometers away. That water is pumped using 30% uh, of the electricity in the city. In one day, as much energy is used to pump in the water as London, a city of eight million, uses for all its needs. The second source of water is from the aquifer. The aquifer provides 70% of the water for the city. There is another source, rain. For six months of the year, heavy rainfall washes over the city. And this is where Isla Urbana comes in. It's pioneering a simple rainwater harvesting system as a practical and affordable solution, initially for thousands of the city's residents. We were with Isla Urbana for the first three days of its self-proclaimed water revolution. Day one, Mexican founder Enrique Lomnitz, together with engineer Dave Vargas and urban planner Jennifer White, both from the United States, train local plumbers in the working details of its rainwater harvesting system. It's amazing the amount of water that goes straight down the drain. Water shortages are increasing day by day. We're running out of water. There will be nothing left for our kids. Tlalpan, a densely populated area of the city of 300 square kilometers and home to some half a million people, has been chosen for the project's test site. Tlalpan is a magnet for migrants from the countryside searching for opportunities in the city. Local infrastructure is in poor shape and the local authorities have agreed to finance the installation of 1,000 of Isla Urbana's rainwater harvesting systems. One lorry load of water costs 90 US dollars, and the authorities subsidize 90% of that cost. But despite the subsidies, water delivered by truck is an expensive option for most Mexicans. For six months out of the year, we don't have to deliver around 10 water cans per household. That means that we would be saving around 400 to 600 dollars per family. At a cost of around $120 for the entire system installed in one home, each square meter of rooftop can supply one liter of water every day during the rainy season, with little or no maintenance. Well, it's really simple how it works. You have a roof, and that's your harvesting surface, and then we channel it to a first flush system, and that reduces the amount of pollution and dust and all kinds of particulates, and then we chlorinate it and we filter it. This is an ages old technology, but the real challenge here is to just move it and adapt it so that it'll, um, so that it'll merge into people's habits and into people's culture. When Enrique Lomnitz first started trying to convince local residents to install his rainwater harvesting system, he found a willing candidate in Clara Gaetan, one of the millions of people who've come to the capital looking for a better life. I arrived here 25 years ago. There wasn't much of anything here. 
But now it's been three years, I don't get a single drop of water. As more and more migrants arrived, Tlalpan was overwhelmed with an increasing demand for services. Water supply was the first casualty, and for Clara Gaitan, it was Lomnitz's rainwater harvesting system that provided relief. My life has changed with this system. The last water can I had to buy was more than eight months ago. Isla Urbana is now trying to use the positive experience of Clara Gaitan to encourage others. At a community gathering, volunteers offer drinks made from rainwater to overcome people's fear that it's not safe to drink. They say the result is a growing acceptance of the system. Some people are really excited about it and some people are a little hesitant because it's really new, but what we've found at all our meetings is that we have to end up pushing people out the door because they love to stay and talk with us. So we can tell that the acceptance is, is really great because if people's water wasn't clean and if people didn't like their systems, then people wouldn't be knocking on our doors. Day two. The team is preparing the designs and materials for three homes to kick off the 1,000 the local authority has agreed to pay Isla Urbana to install. It will bring multiple benefits to the local community, employing and training local plumbers and supplying the hardware shop selling the materials. Plans are made, supplies checked. Everything is ready for installation day. Isla Urbana is keen to secure financial stability. Beyond the contract with Tlalpan authorities, it started a consultancy business that aims to sell its expertise in this city with a huge demand for water. As social entrepreneurs, we have started a rainwater harvesting business here in Mexico City. The big picture aspect is that 54% of the demands of the water in the city could come from rainwater. Day three, and the team is ready to install the first of its local authority funded systems in Tlalpan. The whole government usually is investing billions of dollars in water infrastructure, changing tubes and building bigger pumping stations. And here they're taking a little bit of their resources and they're, they decided to try seeing if they could give a crack at residential rainwater harvesting. And how can winning World Challenge help Isla Urbana? It's really important for there to be a public space with a visible rainwater harvesting system and simultaneously provide this sort of like enhanced place for people to meet and come and sit down and, uh, and take like a break from their day. If we were to win the World Challenge, what we want to do is use the money to transform this public space. Isla Urbana now has the World Challenge platform to ask for viewers' votes. This is Mexico City. Over 20 million people are experiencing a water crisis here that's getting worse every year. All of the city's conventional water sources are being drastically overexploited, and thousands and thousands of households in the city are going for periods of weeks without getting water from the grid. At the same time, there's a source of water that the city is almost entirely wasting, rainwater. These would run a harvest rainwater, these would run a brings rainwater to families, these would run a starting a rainwater harvesting revolution. With your help, we can catch every drop. Thank you.